Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be investigating which puzzle in my collection is the most challenging and difficult to solve. Many people have come up to me and asked which is the most difficult puzzle to solve, so I decided that I would try to answer that in this video. So most people would look at my collection and decide that the Terraminx is my most difficult puzzle. Now the Terraminx is quite a hard puzzle to solve. However, it isn't that difficult. It is mainly just time consuming as it is so large and it isn't much more difficult than just a Gigaminx. I believe that even if I had a Petaminx, it wouldn't be that much more different than the Terraminx because it is pretty much just the same concept. Well, surely if the Terraminx isn't the hardest, it must be the next biggest, the 8x8 for example. Well again, the puzzle isn't as hard as it is time consuming. Once you can solve a 5x5, five five, you can really solve anything. So the 8x8 isn't really any more difficult than a 7x7 seven seven or a 6x6. Six six. And in the same way, a 17x17 seven seventeen isn't much more difficult than an 11x11 eleven eleven or a 9x9. Nine nine. So the 8x8 eight eight isn't really that hard. So moving on, how about this very difficult and intimidating looking mess? Well this is the 4x4x6. Now don't get me wrong, this is a difficult puzzle to solve. But is it the hardest? Well let's think about this. To be able to solve this you really need to be able to solve a 4x4, 3x3 and a 3x3x2 with some knowledge of how to solve a 3x3x4. Now most tubers nowadays can solve them no problem. So what's so hard about this puzzle? Well the concept of the puzzle is quite difficult to grasp as it does take quite a bit of getting used to and it is quite new. But once you know what to do it really is quite simple. So let's stay on the shape shifting puzzles but let's add a bit of jumbling into it. Jumbling is basically shape shifting except it can cause the cube to bandage itself. So what about this puzzle, the curvy copter? This cube is completely different to any other cubic puzzle apart from the helicopter cube. So surely being able to solve a 3x3 or a 4x4x6 or whatever won't help you to solve this puzzle. So. This puzzle is very hard as it is completely different in the turning and the look of the puzzle. But is it the most difficult? Well as you can see we have stickers on this puzzle. Six different colours for six different faces. So I see this corner here, the white, sorry the yellow, orange and blue. And I know that this goes in the yellow, orange and blue slot because we have yellow, orange and blue on it. So eventually I would be able to solve this because I know where the pieces should go and therefore I can get them into that place. So let's try something without stickers. For example the mirror blocks. No that's too easy because each individual piece is different. So how about this? This is the 3x3 egg. So this cube is just the 3x3 shape mod. So you solve it just like a 3x3. Three three. So what's difficult about this puzzle? Well if you look closely you can see that some of the pieces are the same. So for example this corner is the same as this, this and this corner. Well what makes this hard is if I was to put this corner into this slot then that's the same as doing this on a 3x3. Three and if you look carefully I've solved this as best as I can with this corner in the wrong place and I can't do it without taking the puzzle apart because it's physically impossible so you have to try and guess which piece goes where and if I put this into the wrong place down here then I won't be able to solve the puzzle I'll have to try again and there's more than one case of there being the same shaped piece on this puzzle so it's very very difficult to get all the pieces in the right place and it's very very lucky if you do manage to do it. So it can take a very long time and it can get very annoying but it is doable. So 
What's harder than this? Well, let's go back to basics. How about this, this 3x3? Three three? Well, what's hard about this? It's just a 3x3. Three three. Well, look at the stickers. This is a maze cube. So you need to line up all of the pieces so that they form a path and they all connect to another piece. So the hard part of this is trying to decide which piece goes where. As you can see, I've attempted a first layer and got all the pieces to match up. But what's stopping this piece from going down here? What's stopping this piece from going here? What's stopping this piece from going up here? Well, nothing. I could keep putting pieces wherever I wanted to put them, but that's, gonna, that's not going to change which actual piece needs to go there. So I could get all the way to the last layer, only to find that one piece is placed wrong, and I, I need to pretty much start again. But with a lot of trial and error, it is possible. So let's try this. This is a Sudoku cube. This puzzle is just a 3x3, three three, but look at the stickers. Each piece has either 1, 2 or 3 numbers which are mostly all facing different ways. So, how are we going to solve this? Well, we need to solve it so that on each face we have only one of each number all facing the same way and all the way around the cube there aren't any repeated numbers in a row. So how on earth are we going to do this? Well, I don't know. I have no idea how to even approach this puzzle. It is undoubtedly the most difficult puzzle I have seen and I have no idea how to solve it. There are so many different combinations for this puzzle and being able to solve this would take a very very long time and it would be very very frustrating. So guys, that is my most difficult puzzle. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and feel free to leave your most difficult puzzle in the comments. Anyway guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video.